so far I got me Thanos uh, over the course of the weekend here. Um, and it's time to review, you can tell because the washer's going on in the background. That's how I know when it's time to film a review. No extra lights or anything right now. I'm just going to get this guy out of the box. We'll look at, look at him in the packaging real quick. But you got Thanos and then Lady Death, or just Death, over here with her extra face, extra hands, extra body parts. Pretty cool. Really dig this line. I think they did it really well. It's just a shame that Marvel Legends and Marvel Select aren't one huge line. Like, I don't know where the disconnect is, why they do that. I know, like, Hasbro does the Marvel Legends, and then... Is it Diamond Select that does the um, select figures? Um, so I, I don't know. It's kind of weird because there's aspects of both that could be incorporated into one awesome line, but they just don't do it. Same thing with the DC collectibles, you know. Um, they do some more obscure characters, so I kind of get that. But anyway, I digress. So here's, here's Thanos in the box. This guy's been out for a while. I was able to get him for $18 because the guy had 20 bucks on him. I'm like, oh man. And then I whipped out my money and I was like, oh, I've only got $18. And he goes, oh, that's fine, 18 bucks is good. Because they had like four of them. So I just told him to pick out whichever one had the crappiest box. And they all had like brand new boxes for the most part. So I got the one with the crappiest box. I had like a teeny tiny ding there. But um, yeah, picked it up pretty cool. Nice little piece of artwork there on the side. And a picture of the Infinity Gauntlet issue number one on the back, as well as the other figures that came out at the same time, which I have not got these, gotten these, but I probably will just for the backgrounds. The throne and the window, because, man, like Jason Chapman has shown us, you, how can you have a collection and, and not have a window? So I've been, I've been jealous uh, about his window. So the Black Hat figure looks okay, but it really has no opposability at all. It's just a statue. And then I, I've seen the Doom, and he's okay, but he's not that much better. Or worse than the Marvel Legends, he's just a little tall, but I really dig the throne. I think it'll work for the Legends figures, so. Anyhow, here's Thanos, here's his little bio, if it will focus. And my dog's barking. So there we go. So, with that, hey, toys, cool. Um, let's get the review done. All right, here's the Titan Thanos out of his little uh, box there. It didn't really do a packaging review, but it has like some cool purple pictures, um, purple tinted pages from Infinity Gauntlet, and you know whatever. It's just standard fair packaging from Marvel Select. Pretty cool. Um, now his accessories. Um, he does come with the Infinity Gauntlet, um, gauntlet, and it has the gems in there. But they're like just a plain primary color thing. They didn't like do a metallic or anything like that. So it's kind of yeah, kind of disappointing, and I thought it was like cool and all with the grasping hand, but then I'll show you later. But when you swap out the gloves, it's like it doesn't really, he doesn't really, can't really pose very well with it, you know. Um, been better if this had been a regular glove, and the affinity of the gauntlet itself had been the, um, or the gemmed version of the gauntlet had been just, um, had been a fist. Um, so it comes with, yeah, it comes with this, this accessory, and comes with another accessory. That actually has an accessory of its, of its own, and that's going to be Death, which hopefully it focuses on her instead of the background for once. Yeah, there we go. And she's just a statue. She's like one solid piece, one chunk. Nicely painted, nicely sculpted, um, and she comes with the face, and I'll go ahead and show you that because it's super creepy. Um, yeah, that's that's not weird at all. Um, yeah. I can I can hear it now. You know, Thanos is all like, uh, "Can you wear the um, the, the skin face?" But but, do uh, you, you like that better? No no, I don't like that better than your regular face. Just, but it's it's creepy. I I don't know. It's creepy. It's like, I mean, some angles like it's not a bad sculpt really. It's like it's painted well and all that. But when you put it on there, because it doesn't recess all the way, and because it's out of focus, um. focus you it just has this really weird look to it. like I guess think of it if it was like a, a regular head inside the cloak I think it'd look okay but as it is it's just kind of creepy so get some focus on this paint the paint job's actually de decent for an accessory piece but yeah she, she's not wearing that on the shelf yeah that's um yeah it may not even go on the shelf but if so just like that we'll set that aside so anyway, so you got Thanos and um, let's see, for size comparison, I got my Captain America here, 
handy dandy Captain America will put right in front of him. Um, yeah, he's pretty massive, which isn't bad. I think that's a good comic book scale. Uh, I'm not sure how big he's going to be in the in the um, in the movie series, but we'll, we'll see what happens whenever he finally gets up close to somebody that's normal size. And um, yeah, the only thing I really noticed about this guy—let me back off on here. I'm like so choked up on this; it's not even funny. Um, is had a couple of paint blemishes. Like you can see that little dot, maybe right there, a light dot. It was like a really dark dot, and I was trying to match it, but it ended like all my colors. I just had some Gundam markers, so I just kind of mixed them up and just kind of dabbed it on there, which may or may not be good. But I might end up taking this 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 thing off, and then um, and repainting the whole thing. I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably just leave it. I mean, it blends in okay. And you see it right there? No. So it's probably be okay on the shelf. And there's like spots all over. It's like a little chunk on his boot right there where. I Dab some more paint on where you know the paint was kind of spotty just like on the gold the blue seemed fine Nothing really funky otherwise I don't really look all that close either but like that one spot up there really sucked where it was like it'd been nice if this had been anywhere else like on the back or Or whatever it'd have been way easier to cover but because it's right there. It's just really kind of hard To blend in his packaging's falling out of my trash um but uh, I don't have my tripod out, but he does have like a ball jointed kind of head, you know, it has like up, down, left, right, and all that. Um, the gauntlets themselves do twist at the, where it separates, and you have a single point elbow. You have a twisty bicep, and you have like the shoulder ball hinge thing going on. Um, he does have a waist joint. This is actually working out pretty good. He does have the standard um, mar Marvel ball kind of um, hip joint there, you can kind of see the hinge inside there and all that single point knee which is okay and then he has a heel um, pivot point and that's it the only thing I would like to have seen I think would have been a boot cut and I'd like to have seen I mean because the sculpt looks really good so I don't need an ab crunch on this guy I don't really need double jointed elbows but I mean the sculpt looks really good I mean you know considering he has like that like a modern Marvel Legends aesthetic, basically, but he has like old school Toy Biz joints, kind of. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Like, um, I don't know, I guess he's not really jointed that much different from the, uh, from the Amandroid there. So he's pretty good, and I think he fits in well with the, um, with the, uh, rest of the Marvel Legends, you know? Let me put him back here with the Guardians of the Galaxy that are by no coincidence still sitting out. But, um, you know, kind of cool. Uh, so let me go ahead and swap out the gloves real quick. So hold on, let me check this out. Or we'll check this out. Or I'll swap and then you guys can check it out. Alright, here he is with the glove and it, the gauntlet, whatever. All it is is his regular glove with stuff in it. So you have this, the fist, right? Which, I'll put this up. So if, if this had the gems on it, this would look awesome because you can hold it up. He can show off and be like, ha ha, I've got the gems. But in this one, it's like, I I, I got a handful of nothing. And just the, the shading and shadow you get from the hand. And there's no good place to put it where he's like, you know, I, I don't know what. Like he's going to be like shaking your hand or whatever. I guess you can kind of put it down low. It isn't like, there's no way for it to like be on the figure and shown as prominent, you know what I mean? So that's my that's my one real gripe, which is fine because I'm cool with just a cool Thanos figure. You know, if I have to, I mean, the sculpt isn't that far off from his regular one. I mean, if I wanted to, I could just do with a little bit of paint, maybe a little bit of sculpty. I don't know. We'll see. But I could, I could totally make a make this a um, make this an Infinity Gauntlet. You know, it just needs the um, extra. Well, not even really extra. The only real extra bit is the um, Whichever gem the green one is, the mind gem or whatever. Reality gem, I don't remember. But um just need to like make a piece for that, which isn't that wouldn't be that hard, I don't think. Um, I got some scrap plastic, wouldn't be that hard to just cut it and like sand it around and and then just glue it on and then paint use metallic colors, paint the gems in there, you know. I think that would be really cool. Um uh, so uh, we'll see, I might do that. Um I got like a thousand other projects, but anyway there's Thanos done his articulation, which is good. Um, I'm gonna give this guy for the price I got. I'm going for 18 bucks. I'm going for less than 20 bucks, which I think 20 or 21.99 is like his regular retail. So for the fact that I got him discounted, I'm gonna give him an easy nine. I mean, he's an articulated figure, articulated as much as you want a giant figure to be. The articulation doesn't really compromise the sculpt, which is awesome. You know, you're only really, only really missing an ab crunch off this guy. He's got an awesome face sculpt. The paint was adequate. 
That's like the only place I really deducted any points was the paint. It could have been a little bit better in those spots. Um, he comes with a bunch of accessories. You know, they didn't have to give us death and her little creepy Barbie doll mask thing. It was an episode of like um, the old school Wonder Woman where it had like the uh, robot girls or something like that. I don't know. But um, considering with what you get and the fact that I got them cheap, yeah, dude's a nine. So I'm going to say if you don't have one, get one, especially before um, the Infinity War, is it Infinity War? Part 1 um, gets close. I think it'll be rare. I don't know if they're going to reissue him, but this guys he's pretty common right now. Like I said, the guy had like four or five of them or whatever it was, and I just want to make him in with the worst box, you know, and so he gave me a, a good deal on that. So for a cool figure, it looks great um, in comic book scale with your Marvel Legends figures with a great comic book look. I think he's awesome. So uh, keep playing with your toys, guys. I do. Don't forget to uh, to comment, to like, and subscribe. Yeah, do all your hand motions there. All right, guys. Thanks again. Alright guys, so I'm finally putting together a Marvel shelf, kind of. Let me let me get you seasick or motion sick real quick. Just blur. So I'm just kind of throwing figures up on the. How did he get up there? I guess he's got a cape and a hammer, so he can he can be on the Batman shelf, I guess. Uh, whatever. But anyway, I'm just trying to cram figures on it right now. So many figures I can get on there, and it just seems like man, these Marvel figures are way so much more. Did that even make sense? It sounds like a Jap poor Japanese translation, like when you do it through Google Translator. Anyway. The Marvel figures seem so much more chunky that it's harder to get the same number. Like, I've really got the Bat shelf, well, I've really got the, the Super Friends, Super Power shelf really packed. And it's just hard to get that number of figures on there. So I just got to see how many figures, just kind of throw all the ones on there that I want on there, just to get them on. Just as a proof of concept or proof of um, being able to put that many figures on there, then I'll rearrange them and all that stuff. But, um, yeah, so this guy is going to eat up a ton of space, so I need to go and review him so I can open him, so I can put him up there, and, um, yeah, that's why we're getting a review for this guy. So, this was going to be my intro, but now I'm going to be my outro extra footage just to show you, and I'm going to tape the actual intro now. Actually, not really tape, it's video. I'll digitally capture the intro now. So, now that you've watched, time has gone full circle. So, wrap your mind around that, because this is actually the beginning, not the actual end. But, anyway.